Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to see how to make an API call or like how to fetch the data on the server side in your Next.js application. In our previous video, we saw how to make an API call in your Next.js application on the client side. This is the source code from the same video tutorial. Here, as you can see, we were making the API call inside the use effect hook. Yeah, so this use effect hook it gets triggered once the page has loaded, and once the page has loaded, we will be making use of the fetch API to make the API call. And once we have fetched the data, we were setting the data in our state and then utilizing it to render the data on the UI. Now, Next.js provides an option to fetch the data on the server side. In that case, we don't need to make use of this use effect hook. The advantage of fetching the data on the server side is that only one request is made and in that particular request, the page is rendered with the API data. So let's see this thing in action. For this thing, you need to define a function called get server side props. So I'll define it here, export const get server Right, drops and this will be an async function and inside the async and inside this function we'll be making the same API call here so I'll just copy this thing here and put it down here now once the data has been fetched we need to pass this data to our page so I'll just return this thing, put in the props and transfer this response as user info. Now this user info needs to be defined here inside our page here. So I'll be receiving it here and this particular portion is not needed as of now since we are fetching the data on the server side. So I'll just remove this thing. Now you just save the thing and you can run it. npm run dev. Now oh, I'll just load the page here. Localhost slash home. Now as you can see here, this is our document that's being fetched from the server side. And it already has the data. No additional API call is being made here since we already removed the client side use effect call. So I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video. Thanks for watching.